the grand hydroponic pepper experiment of 2025. So I just pruned these. You can see all the dead leaves I pruned off. And I've got some ones there that I just put in. These are all sweet peppers. I've got a few tomatoes and a, I don't know if that's a squash or a cucumber. It looks like a cucumber, but it could be a squash. This tomato plant is doing well. She came through and pruned. I don't know if you remember or not. If you've seen from a previous video, these were inch in, in, in one and a half inch net cups in their infancy inside the house. And when I pulled them out here and put them in the bigger cups, it had quite a decent root mass. Mistake number one, planted them too early inside, planted and started my seeds too early. With the hydroponics, it grows a lot quicker. So of course this is year one, so I'm gonna share with you the failures as well as the successes. So um, note number one, don't plant so early next year, but I might still plant early if I can find a way around that net cup thing, which I think I did. I think what I have here is I've transplanted them into bigger net cups. I found over here, by not using net cups, I don't know if I'm crazy about this, this corrugated metal, but I don't, I don't have net cups. I just, you know, adjusted the hole slightly. And you can tell it's a tight fit with the noodle. I think that's going to work better. Then when I transplant them, I don't have to, I don't have a little net cup around here to show you, but you really can't get it out without ripping the roots out. It's a big mass of root on the outside of the net cup. So anyway, I think going forward, I'm going to try to completely get away from net cups. Although these are working here and now I have those holes, the noodle would be too small because it's a bigger hole for the net cup. So at least in this bed next year, I will continue to use the net cups. Those I have little pieces of tarp and I have them taped over because I don't get complete coverage from the rain. And this reservoir is still pretty full. Nice healthy root mass. Reservoir is still pretty full. I think what I'm doing is I'm it really poured like every which way and it you know comes sideways. I think if it gets on the top here it'll seep in. So I think I'm taking in some rain. Which everything I've researched about the science of hydroponics, this cracky passive hydroponics system, the plant will use more water than nutrient. So as the roots go down and deplete the reservoir under here, the, the ratio will be heavier with nutrient. It'll take up more water than it will nutrient. And then, so then when, whatever, I try to build this in a way that it's minimum, minimal um, evaporation. But when it evaporates, it should evaporate more water than the nutrient as well. So as the reservoir goes down, the nutrient ratio should get heavier. So I just say that to say that I'm not too concerned about a little rain dilution. But obviously at some point, it'll be a concern. We just had a couple bad storms, but typically we suffer drought in the summer. So I'm going to just play it by ear, but it hasn't seemed to affect it so far. They're doing well. And in fact, I'm going to show you this. I just trimmed this off by mistake. I, my eyes are not as good as they should be, or could, could have been, or were at one point. And I went to clip onto a little branch, and I was on the branch that had the pepper. So I'm going to eat this pepper. But you can see... There are little peppers starting. And so there's a decent size one right there. So it's working. 
it's definitely working. I got flowers on my tomatoes. And so, yeah, stay tuned going forward. It's just an experiment, year one. And as time goes on, as I promised, I will share the successes and the failures. This is my goal. Look at the weeds. I am committed to get out of planting in the dirt. Now I'll still have some wildflower beds, which I have around. I don't know if you can see them over there. And I got some comfrey here that I'm propagating. And I do have some melons, which need to be watered. And some melons over there in the comfrey in the center. Lemon balm. So I do have some stuff that'll be in the dirt. And I'll probably always do some kind of melon in the dirt. But I'll show you these. These are all my hot peppers. And so they've got to be strung up differently. But I trimmed them, but not consistently. So some I really trimmed like these and some not so much they're getting leaf curl i thought it was the heat and it might be but i've got a fan and i put some shade cloth these squashes are doing i think that's a cucumber over there and the rest are squashes they're doing well and this is all passive hydroponics this is all cracky hydroponics actually this is a dutch bucket system there's my reservoir pumps out, overflows into the trough and returns. Currently we've got it on twice a day. And as I'm saying this, I'm kind of maybe coming up with a little bit of an answer because these were leaf curled as well. And they still are a little but not quite as bad. And so I thought it was the heat and added the shade cloth and the extra second fan right there. And this side is seeming to get better with the leaf cloth. So this is it. Decision made in the middle of this video. I am going to extend this to flood three times a day instead of two. And I'll do that by pulling out the dogs on the timer. And maybe even four. But I'll start with three and I'll see how it goes. Possibly. Now, the drains are two inches up on the buckets. I can't pull them out. But they're, you know. So, those are filled with perlite and coconut coir. So, even when the system shuts off, I should always have a two inch reservoir in each one. And I think that that is adequate, it should be adequate by uh, videos I watch from other people doing it. That's kind of the norm for the Dutch buckets and I haven't seen anybody report problems about it. So I'm not sure, but, it, it, but then again, they don't always grow in greenhouses either, right? So it will be a little hotter in here. So I'm going to try to up the frequency. I'm going to flood three times a day and see if that makes a difference. Thanks for watching. God bless you.